On June 30, 1908, a local farmer witnessed a scene that would forever haunt him. The sky split in two, and fire blazed high and wide over the forest. The intense heat from the unknown source could be felt from miles away. Just as suddenly as it appeared, the sky shut down, followed by a deafening noise that threw the farmer off his feet. And the noise was so intense that it seemed like the end of the world was near. This event, which occurred just 40 miles from the epicenter, was the beginning of a mysterious and terrifying phenomenon that would forever change the course of history. Like this video and subscribe to this channel. This powerful explosion, now known as the Tunguska event, remains one of the most intriguing natural disasters in recorded history. It occurred in the remote regions of central Siberia near the stony Tunguska River, leaving behind a trail of destruction that would captivate the minds of people for generations to come. Despite the catastrophic impact of the explosion, the remote location of the affected area made it challenging for any immediate investigation to take place. It wasn't until several years after the event that eyewitness accounts started trickling in, though from people who had heard about it secondhand. The scarcity of first-hand accounts only added to the mystery surrounding the Tunguska event. With certainty, it is known that on June 30, 1908, the world witnessed a devastating explosion that rocked the skies of Siberia. At exactly 7.13 a.m., the explosion was so powerful that seismographs in Europe were able to document the event. The impact of the explosion was so significant that it was visible from a distance of half a thousand miles. The explosion caused massive destruction, with a total of 2,000 square kilometers of pine forests reduced to rubble. Eyewitnesses reported seeing a bright fireball, followed by the ground shaking and hot winds so intense, they knocked people to the ground. Despite the scale of the destruction, the only remnants of the object found were tiny fragments, each no larger than a millimeter. This explosion also brought an unusual brightness to the nighttime skies in Siberia and parts of Europe for a period of time. The most remarkable aspect of the explosion was the absence of a crater, which left scientists baffled and curious about the nature of the object that caused the explosion. The unknown. After the deafening boom echoed, residents found themselves in a state of confusion and shock. As the dust settled, one question remained on everyone's mind. What exactly caused the explosion? The object that triggered the blast was still a mystery, leaving many wondering what kind of object could cause such a catastrophic event. Some speculated that it was a bomb, while others believed it to be a gas leak. The extent of the explosion was also a concern. People feared for their safety. The components that comprised the object causing the explosion were also a mystery, leaving scientists to attempt piecing the puzzle together. What scientists believe happened? The Tunguska event left a lasting impression on the scientific community. The massive explosion created a puzzle that begged to be solved. In the decades that followed, numerous scientific expeditions were launched to study the area and shed light on the impact of the explosion. The studies that were conducted on the site revealed that the forest had been completely destroyed, leaving behind a land that was eerily silent and devoid of any signs of life. The area became known as the Tunguska Wasteland. When a scientist by the name of Leonid Kulik arrived at the scene in 1927, he observed the millions of trees that the blast had flattened. He believed it was caused by a meteorite. The absence of an impact crater reinforced his belief that the object that caused the explosion couldn't have been a strong iron meteorite, but a stony asteroid or a small comet, which are more fragile. According to his theory, the explosion was caused by the intense heat produced when the meteorite or comet encountered friction as it entered the Earth's atmosphere. The heat generated from this frick caused the celestial object to explode, releasing a tremendous amount of energy in the process. But he couldn't find any clear evidence. This lack of evidence led to many different explanations for what caused the Tunguska event. Other Russian scientists believed that the heat from the rapid evaporation of ice as it entered the atmosphere was enough to cause a massive explosion. The idea of an icy body causing the explosion has captured the imagination of many people. It is a fascinating concept, imagining a comet moving uncontrollably through the sky and suddenly exploding in a brilliant burst of light and heat. This theory is supported by the fact that no evidence of a meteorite impact has ever been found on the ground. This is in agreement with the idea that the comet or whatever icy body was responsible never actually made contact with the Earth's surface. Instead, it simply vaporized in midair, leaving behind a trail of destruction in its wake. As experts dove deeper into the cause of the massive explosion, another theory emerged. It was suggested that the root cause was a sudden release of methane gas from the swampy ground beneath the surface. It was believed that methane, a highly flammable gas, had accumulated over time, just waiting for the right conditions to ignite. And it did, like a giant match had been struck, lighting up the sky with a bright and fiery display. As experts dove deeper into the cause of the massive explosion, 
Another theory emerged. In the 1950s and 1960s, scientific studies of the area uncovered a fascinating discovery. Microscopic silicate and magnetite spheres were found in the soil and resin of the fallen trees, and chemical analysis revealed that they contained high levels of nickel and other rare metals. This was considered strong evidence that the spheres were of extraterrestrial origin. However, not everyone agreed with this conclusion. Further examination of the peat bogs in the area also revealed anomalies that were consistent with an impact event. The isotopic signatures of carbon, hydrogen, and nitrogen were inconsistent, and there was an unusually high proportion of iridium. These findings seemed to support the theory of an extraterrestrial origin, but not everyone was convinced. Despite the apparent evidence of extraterrestrial origins, some scientists remain skeptical. They contend that other laboratories have not confirmed the findings, and that the outcomes might be the result of other natural processes. Scientists from the Siberian Federal University in Russia, led by Daniel Krenikov, may have found the cause of the Tumbeska event after years of guessing and theories. In a recent publication, they proposed that the explosion was a result of an asteroid grazing the Earth. This asteroid, they argue, entered the atmosphere at a shallow angle and then quickly exited back into space. According to their calculations, an icy body large enough to cause such a massive explosion would have traveled no more than 186 miles through the atmosphere before completely vaporizing. This evidence supports the theory that the Tumbeska meteorite was not made of ice, but rather an iron asteroid body. If they are right, we just might have dodged one huge bullet. That morning, this catastrophic event could have changed the course of history. According to Krenikov and his team, a massive asteroid measuring 656 feet in width was on a collision course with the planet. This celestial body, if it had hit its target, would have caused a massive impact in Siberia, creating a crater that was two miles wide and leaving a trail of destruction that would have been felt far and wide. The ramifications of this impact would have been felt globally, with devastating effects on the biosphere and perhaps even putting an end to modern civilization as we know it. Thankfully, the asteroid missed its target and instead hit Tunguska. The impact, however, was still significant and is believed to have resulted in the death of probably three people. The outcome could have been much worse, and it's fortunate that the Earth was able to escape unscathed. Today at NASA, Tunguska is the buzzword that immediately captures the attention of any individual who is passionate about the asteroid business. Whether it was a comet, meteorite, small black hole, or even an alien spacecraft, the Tunguska event has become a symbol of the unpredictability of nature and the importance of continued scientific investigation and exploration. Thanks for watching. Hit the like button and subscribe to this channel for more videos. See you in the next one.